Shockey. Here. Alderman Wesley. Here. Alderman Winger. Mayor Johnson. Quorum being present, would you stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Justice for all. May I have a motion to approve the minutes of uh, May 3rd and May 10th, 2007. Is there a second? Second. Any comments, corrections, additions? Wesley, no. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Second. Motion carries. I think it was Alderman Cadella. Uh, bills, Alderman Wesley? I'd like to make a motion to pay the bills $68,075.39. Wrong. Wrong. What? <laughs> 68000 No. Oh, 618000 dollars Well, you're cutting the budget already. Oh, that's, I... That's, uh... <laughs> Is there a second? Second. On the question? Question. Here. Alderman uh, Shockey, was it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Page three, fourth one down, Carrot Top Enterprises. We ordered 12 four by six and six three by five Wooddale flags. Do we fly them and then give them out afterwards or what's the reason for so many? Mr. Manager. Uh, I think that's just replacing the flags. We replace them from time to time. Is that correct, Mr. Holm? And also being a custom order you have to order in quantity in order to get a price, and then we just keep them on the shelf until we have to use them. So this doesn't, isn't an order that's placed on a regular basis. It's an order that's placed every great while so that we get a stock of them and then replace them. How many do we actually fly in town? You have any idea? Is it four two, or five? Four? Okay, four or five of them. Okay, thank yeah. you. Yep. Any other questions? Roll call. Alderman Cadella? Yes. Alderman Knight? Yes. Alderman Coles? Yes. Alderman Lewitan? Yes. Alderman Felice? Yes. Alderman Shockey? Yes. Alderman Wesley? Yes. That passes. Do any citizens wish to address the City Council this evening? If so, if you go to the podium and give us your name and address. Uh, under Mayor's, I do have one written communique that was received from a gentleman named uh, Martin. Uh, asked me a couple questions, but he didn't give me a last name. He didn't give me a return address. So, Martin, if you're out there uh, and you want me to respond, I'll be glad to do that, but you need to send me a second letter and give me the information where I can respond to. Uh, it brings us to Mayor Re Report. Uh, Mr. Logan, would you join Mr. Williams at the podium, please? Good evening, everyone. Dr. Alf Logan is retiring after 34 years of service with District 100 Fenton High School. Alf Logan began, uh, began his career by serving in the U.S. Army as a captain from 1965 to 1967. He started out as a high school teacher in Niles West, um, pardon me, Niles North High School from 69 to 73. He started at Fenton as an assistant principal and served in that position from 73 to 83 and became principal in 1983 to the year 2000. They finally realized what a good man they had and they made him superintendent in 2000. While he was principal, he was more than just interested in Fenton High School. He wanted to work and do everything he could do to help the entire Fenton, uh, Fenton community, which also includes Bensonville and Wooddale. The Wooddale Community Assistance Council began in 1992, that's over 15 years ago, as a request from then mayor, uh, Jerry Greer, who wanted the community to develop a community-wide approach and a community group to solve community problems and use the entire capacities of all our community resources to share information and work together on concerns and problems, including gangs, child abuse, substance abuse, 
graffiti, truancy, crime, and helping families to cope. Over the years, the membership has included local residents, presidents of homeowners associations, church pastors, parents, men mental health and service providers, women shelter representatives, minority groups, youth groups, and of course, the library district, the park district, school district, the fire prevention uh, district, the Chamber of Commerce, and the police department. Quite a group. Alf Logan is one of the original members and has been co-chairman all those years. Over those years, the city has received hundreds of thousands of dollars in grants, which the community council acted as board of directors. This is a true example of the, the community assistance council is a true example of the community working together to make life better. It's certainly been an honor and a privilege working with you, and we really appreciate all you've done. Thanks, thank you, Chief. Chief. We have a, a small uh, little token of our appreciation. You can remember us as you move That's on to your example. retirement. It says, presented to Alf E. Logan, May 2007, in recognition of your outstanding service and dedication to the residents of Wooddale as the co-chairman <clears throat> of the Community Assistance Council from 1992 to 2007. You have provided unselfish devotion to the community, its problems and needs. Thank you for sharing your outstanding talents and capabilities. Your efforts have made a significant impact on improving the quality of life for the Wooddale community. Thank you. Thank you. you can say a couple of words. I want to thank uh, Mayor Johnson and the members of the uh, City Council, as well as my good, Frank, my good friend Frank Williams, and of course my good friend Frank Benowitz. Uh, Frank and I have worked together for years. We have developed a, a wonderful relationship. Many of the grant dollars that we as a Community Assistance Council were able to attain were as a result of Frank's efforts and the writing of those grants, so I can't take credit for that. Um, but uh, we had a great experience working together to really better the quality of life for people in Wooddale. One thing I wanted to share too is when I became the principal in 1983, uh, I felt it important that we develop a police liaison program. And so we worked with the village of Bensonville to establish that program. And, and Bensonville provided a police officer for us on campus back in 83. We were one of the original high schools in DuPage County to have a full-time police officer with us. And it worked very, very well. The, the officer, officers we had were very student-oriented. Kids were free to come in and talk with them and share thoughts and concerns and perhaps on occasion talk a little bit about a ticket they received. Uh, but back uh, in the late 90s, and I'll never forget this, it was about two weeks after Columbine, and of course things were uh, anxious and stressful in schools at that time, as they still are. Uh, we were having our spring assembly, and we highlighted the spring play and the prom and a variety of other student activities that were kind of coming to a crescendo at that point. And after that assembly, the superintendent, John Meredith, came to me and said, Alf, I've got some bad news. And I said, what's that? And he said, uh, the, the, city, the village of Bensonville is short of staff in their police department, and they're pulling their liaison officer. And I said, John, they can't do that. I mean, you know, we've just experienced this horrendous problem in Colorado. I mean, they can't pull our liaison officer. He said, well, they did. And he, he said, what do you think we should do? And I said, well, I've got to go to my friend, Frank Williams, and see if I can get some help from Wooddale. And so I called Frank on the phone, came over. Uh, we put together an agreement. And we've had a Wooddale police officer with us ever since. And they've done a great job. And Frank filled in the gap for me. So we're appreciative of that. So uh, thanks to Wooddale for all of your, all of your uh, effort on our behalf. Uh, thanking you again. And I want to introduce my dear wife, Anna Marie.
She's, uh, she, she needs a great deal of recognition. She's my rock. Council, without objection, I'm going to defer on item B and move to item C. And uh, Sergeant Stout and Chief Venowitz, and does a representative of the Park District want to join us at the podium? It's good to see you here in force. Why don't you join us and say a few words? Well, actually, actually, I did not come here as a representative of the Waddell Park District, although I will represent the Board of Commissioners. I came here basically as a resident citizen of Waddell to thank Jerry for his years of service here to myself and everyone else here that is a resident of Waddell for the fine job that he has done for the years he's served as a police officer and keeping us safe. Thank you, Roberta. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Jerry, on behalf of the City Council, uh, we'd like to present you with this resolution expressing appreciation for services extended to Jerry Stout to the City of Wooddale. Uh, whereas Jerry Stout has devoted his experience, knowledge, and dedication to serving the City of Wooddale from May 21, 1977 to May 25, 2007, and whereas Jerry Stout served in the United States Air Force from December 31, 1968 through October 27, 1972, and was honorably discharged at the end of his enlistment as a staff sergeant. And whereas Jerry Stout began his service to the city of Wooddale as a police officer, a youth officer, and sergeant, and served the community steadfastly in that capacity until his retirement. And whereas a, as a police officer with the Wooddale Police Department, Jerry Stout has played a significant role in strengthening of the city of Wooddale with his commitment and expertise and whereas Jerry Stout has exemplified the role of employee by having performed the duties consistently during his career with the City of Wooddale, and whereas the quality of life for the citizens of the City of Wooddale has been greatly enhanced by the knowledge, experience, and contributions of Jerry Stout, and whereas the City of Wooddale is deeply indebted to Jerry Stout for his distinguished service to the City for over 30 years, and whereas the City Manager, Mayor, and the City Council of the City of Wooddale desire to express to Jerry Stout their gratitude for his dedicated service to the city. Now therefore be it resolved by the City Council of the City of Wooddale, DuPage County, Illinois, section one that this, by this resolution, the mayor and the City Council of the City of Wooddale express to Jerry Stout and his family their gratitude to his commitment, devotion, knowledge, expertise, and constructive service to the city manager, mayor, and city council of the City of Wooddale. Section 2, that a copy of this resolution be spread upon the minutes of the City Council of the City of Wooddale, that a signed copy be suitably presented to Jerry Stout. Section 3, that this resolution shall be in full force and effect from and after its passage in the manner provided by law. Is there such a motion? So move. Is there a second? Second. On the question? Roll call. Alderman Cadella? Yes. Alderman Knight? Yes. Alderman Coles? Yes. Alderman Lewitan? Yes. Alderman Belize? Yes. Alderman Shockey? Yes. Alderman Wesley? Yes. That passes. Congratulations to you. Thank you. Good job. Well done. First off, I'd like to uh, acknowledge the fact that uh, Jerry's father-in-law is here, Victoria's uh, father, also Jerry's wife, Victoria, and his son, uh, Little Jer. Uh, I know Savannah couldn't be here. She's in Arizona. But once again, uh, this is uh, another show of the fact that our families are all supportive of our efforts, and thanks for being here with us. Uh, when I first met Jerry, I believe it was 1975, uh, we both uh, were taking the test to get a job here working with the Wooddale Police Department. Uh, it's really hard for me to summarize uh, 30 years up in five or 10 minutes and really make sure that it has significant meaning to understand the impact uh, when you grow up someplace. And we all grew up here, every one of us that's currently employed and everyone that's come before us. Uh, it's quite a, quite a uh, 
a landmark to have 30 years of service, 30 years of distinguished service. Uh, on a personal note, uh, Jerry's going to be missed, but he's not going away from us. He's always going to be with us. He's always going to be here in the community. And as an alumni of the Wooddale Police Department, he's always going to be welcomed to our facility and by the uh, members that are currently here and the members that are going to be coming after him. Uh, in little recognition, and this is just a small token of our recognition, uh, we have a little bit of a shadow box here, and this is in recognition for Jerry's, uh, for 30 years of outstanding dedicated service to the citizens of Wooddale as a police officer and a sergeant, Jerry Stout, 1977 to 2007. Uh, Jerry, uh, you're never that far away from us. You're always going to be with us in, in spirit, and I hope you're going to be around our building quite often to kind of make sure that everybody understands the traditions of the past because we can't know where we're going unless we know where we've been. Thanks a lot, Jerry. We appreciate your years of service. Thank you. Thank you. Go right ahead. Uh, as I said at the department meeting last week, uh, 30 years seems like a long time when you're starting out, and it's a blink of an eye when it comes to an end. Uh, and when I think of this job, I can only think of the Navy uh, recruitment slogan, it's not a job, it's an adventure. And it's been an adventure, and it's been an opportunity for me to forge some fantastic relationships with people who not only would risk their life for me, uh, but also go out on a daily basis and put their lives at risk to serve their community and and to be there when everybody else is is nowhere. Let's put it that way, not around. And I have to recognize my family because if it wasn't for my the support of my my wife and my kids, who've had to bear the uh, the days that I couldn't be with them, uh, the vacations and or the holidays that I couldn't be with them, and to put up with the um, emotional stress that comes home with the officer, and then be able to take and and help alleviate that and support them. Uh, I don't think anybody, I don't think any of us could have could go through 30 years without, what, without that type of support. Uh, as I said at the department meeting, meeting, it's been an honor and my privilege to have worked with these people, to know them, to have them call me their friend, and it will always be deep in my heart and with much love. Thank you. Diana, would you come up and Diana Rona of, uh, I almost said Suburban, sorry, of Parkway Bank and Trust and the Director of the Chamber of Commerce. And Kyle, would you come up and join us too? Uh, once again, I'm pleased to be here on behalf of the City of Wooddale and the Wooddale Chamber of Commerce. We once again will be awarding six scholarships to fine young men and women who are from the graduating classes of Addison Trail, Driscoll Catholic High School, Fenton High School, and Lake Park High School. Um, the question that was asked this year of every student to write an essay was what they liked about Wooddale, what changes they could see for Wooddale, and a, a little insight into how they felt about living here and growing up here and what could maybe make the community even better going forward much along with the thinking of the city council members, what can we do going forward to keep the community inviting to new citizens and current residences? Um, the recipients are from Lake Park High School, Kyle Pawlowski, uh, from Fenton High School, Dan Tequila, Matthew Hart, and Margaret Hammerin, from Driscoll Catholic, Stephanie Litzka, and from Addison Trail, Maureen Crowley. Some of the individuals weren't able to be with us due to prior commitments, and we are hoping they will join us for the chamber luncheon in June.
but Kyle would like to share some of his thoughts. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, Wooddale's been a great community for me to grow up in and has provided me with all the needs I've had to get through my day. I think a great addition to, the, to Wooddale would be more of a downtown area where people of all ages can go to relax on the weekends. In the downtown area, there could be a couple restaurants for people to eat at, a theater, a coffee shop, and other places for people to just relax and enjoy their time off together. Being a senior at Lake Park living in Wooddale, most things I do on the weekend are out in the Bloomingdale area where most of the Lake Park students live. It would be real nice to be able to showcase my town more with a couple extra places to go while saving myself the 15 to 20 minute drive out to my friends. Wooddale's been a great town for me to grow up in and it would be great for Wooddale to continue to continue being a great place for families to raise their children and enjoy their time off. Alderman Knipe, do we have an opening on the Economic Development Committee? <laughs> Kyle, that was a great job. Uh, con congratulations on behalf of the whole city. Council, without objection, will be in recess for five minutes. Here. Alderman Lewithan. Here. Alderman Police. Here. Alderman Shockey. Here. Alderman Wesley. Here. Mayor Johnson. Here. Quorum is once again present. That brings us back to item B under Mayor's report. Uh, do we have a representative. I don't think we have a representative of the uh, Wooddale swim team. Are you handling this one, Frank? I don't. I don't see a representative, but we do have a request. We have had a similar request from the swim team in 2000 and 2002 for $500. Um, since they are going to sponsor the event, they share the sponsorship uh, throughout the communities that participate in the competition, and this is Wooddale's turn again. So um, we do have a request for that donation. It would come out of tourism. Okay. Alderman Wesley. Mr. Mayor, um, first of all, I, I would think that this really came under finance but obviously you, you took the lead on this one. Uh, my question to, obviously there's no one here from the swim team. Uh, my question is, where are these swimmers coming from? Where, how far out are they coming from? Do we have any idea? Mr. Williams? Um, the only thing information I have on that is the letter that you were provided. It's a, it, it's a league, a group of area swim teams. And um, I don't know if we have anybody from the park district going over here, maybe they could explain it. And I'm not that familiar with it. But it, it's area people, and we do get a big influx of, of parents and um, the swimmers as well that will come and, you know, uh, be involved, come go to our restaurants and, and spend some time in Wooddale during that day. All right. Mr. Mayor, can I continue? Alderman Wesley. Uh, Mr. Mayor, I have no problem proving this, but since, you know, we've we done it in the past, obviously, and we don't do it every year, uh, the only thing that I, I would caution this council in the near future here on anything like this um it, it should be earmark only if they have a big meet here that's for several several years apart because i don't think this city council has a open checkbook for any organization to come here for donations for anything but i mean i have no problem proving this if someone comes forward and they got a big conference coming in here, you know, and, and they need, you know, sponsorship, as long as it comes out of tourism fund, um, I have no problem in approving this, but I just want them to know personally that, you know, they can't come every year for this. Anything further? Do you have a motion? Alderman Wesley? Alderman Coles, you make a motion to approve? Second. Five hundred dollars. Second by Alderman Knipe. Yep. Anything further on the question? Roll call. Alderman Cadell. Yes. Alderman Knipe. Yes. Alderman Coles. Yes. Alderman Lewitan. Yes. Alderman Police. Yes. Alderman Sharkey. Yes. Alderman Wesley. Yes. That passes. Uh, Mr. Manager. Uh, yes, Mr. Mayor. I have one report. We would like to schedule a meeting for June seventh at five p.m. This would be a strategic plan session prior to the city council meeting to review the proposed plans for 2007. This would just be an initial review. We'd probably, um, depending upon what came out of that, plan a work session. 
With the summer months coming up, it's a little more difficult to schedule this, so we thought it, we would get the majority of the council to come to that meeting. Please uh, let my office know if it's going to be a conflict, and if too many of you cannot attend, we'll have to move it. You, normally we do the strategic planning sessions in the spring, but due to the change of the council, we put it off for a while now. Everyone's already taking vacation. So uh, kind of work with us on this and let us know if you can or cannot make this. Thank you. June 7th. Uh, this is an attempt, as the manager said, to try something a little <coughs> different. Uh, we will be serving a uh, light meal. And uh, again, due to summer schedules and people taking the weekends off, uh, this is something that uh, the city of Des Plaines does, and they advise me that it has worked very well for them. Uh, does anybody know at this moment whether they have any conflicts on that date? No, I, I don't. That's fine. All right, very good. Uh, we do not have any items on the consent agenda. Uh, planning, zoning, and building, Alderman Shockey. Mr. Mayor, no report. Public Health, Safety, and Judiciary, Alderman Coles. No report, sir. Public Works, Alderman Police. I have one item, Mayor. I'd like to make a motion uh, for an ordinance authorizing the sale of personal property, the Woods Lift Station standby generator owned by the City of Wooddale. Is there a second? Second. On the question? Question. Alderman Wesley. That generator, is there, is there a reason why we can't use it in our house or... It's just too old, or you can't use it in another building, or? Mr. Hall? Yeah, right now, we don't have a home for it to go elsewhere. It's, it's um, we're trying to standardize all of our generators at all of our lift stations. This generator, I believe, was 1992, so about 15 years old now. And it's um, been well-maintained in good operating condition, but we're, it's, it's, we're rehabbing the whole lift station, so we're gonna upgrade and uh, standardize our generators. Fine. I just, that's fine. Anything further on the question? Roll call. Alderman Cadella? Yes. Alderman Knight? Yes. Alderman Cole? Yes. Alderman Lewithan? Yes. Alderman Police? Yes. Alderman Sharkey? Yes. Alderman Westwood? Yes. That passes ordinance 0-07-16. Does that conclude your report, Alderman Police? Yes, that concludes my report. Thank you. Finance Administration, Alderman Wesley? No report, Mayor. Community and Economic Development, Alderman Knight? No report. Um, Uh, we do not have any other business. We do need an executive session tonight. I need a motion to recess the City Council to executive session for purposes of review of the official minutes, uh, collective bargaining, and personnel pursuant to 5 ILCS 120-2C21, 2C2, and 2C1. Is there such a motion a to recess the City Council to executive session? Is that your a motion, move. Alderman Wesley? Yes. So Seconded by second. Alderman Knight? Yeah. Roll call. Alderman Cadella? Yes. Alderman Knight? Yes. Alderman Coles? Yes. Alderman Lordtown? Yes. Alderman Police? Yes. Alderman Shockey? Yes. Alderman Wesley? Yes. That passes. Okay. That's for the swim team. Would they have swim team? Here. Alderman Knight? Here. Alderman Cadella? Here. Alderman Shockey? Here. Alderman Winger? Alderman Wesley? Here. Alderman Lewitan? Here. Mayor Johnson. Here, quorum is once again present. Alderman Shockey, do you have a motion? Yes, I do. I'd like to make a motion to approve the collective bargaining agreement between the City of Wooddale and the International Union of Operating Engineers, Local 150, as presented to us on, uh, for the dates of May 1st, 2006 through April 30th, 2009, and to authorize the mayor to sign the agreement and the city clerk to attest to it on this date of May 17, 2007. Is there a second? Second. On the question, roll call. Alderman Coles? Yes. Alderman Police? Yes. Alderman Knight? Yes. Alderman Cadella? Yes. Alderman Shockey? Yes. Alderman Wesley? Yes. Alderman Lewitan? Yes. That passes. There are no items to be referred. There are no items for information only. May I have a motion to adjourn? So move. Is there a second? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. And justice for all. May I have a motion to approve the minutes of April seventh, two thousand five.
Is there a second? Second. On the question, Alderman Knipe. On, the, on uh, page three, uh, section 11 under other business C, um, for the ordinance increasing the bonding requirements. Um, first line, it says it was moved by Alderman, seconded by Alderman. Um, there was no identification as to who made the. Does the movement and the seconder remember who did that? Uh, the motion to amend is approved and will be incorporated. The city clerk will review the tape and add those names. Anything further? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, it says communications, but I'm going to do communications under um, item 8. Uh, approval of bills. Alderman Coles. I'd like to make a motion. Paid a bit, uh, bills of April 21st, 2005 of $608,567.91. Second. Further on the question? I've been advised that that's correct figure despite what the agenda says. That's correct figure due to an error in the billing. Roll call. Alderman Coles? Yes. Alderman Subak? Yes. Alderman Knipe? Yes. Alderman Pizek? Yes. Alderman Shockey? Yes. Alderman Winger? Yes. Alderman Zobek? Yes. Alderman Ptolemy? No. That passes. Uh, under citizens to be heard, uh, Alderman Zobek? I have a statement I would like to read. Uh, the April 8th edition of the Daily Herald carried an article about the aldermanic election in the Fourth Ward. That article attributed a quote to me that was both derogatory and disgusting. That quote was pure fiction. I did not make it. I contacted the editor of the newspaper, assured me that she would talk to the reporter and hear his side of the story. I haven't heard anything since. I also left a message for Mr. Wesley at his home saying I did not make the quote. I have since spoken to him personally and he assured me that he knows it was false. He knows that the reporter has a long history of fabricating quotes. I would have let the matter drop there. However, during the last two weeks, several people have spoken to me personally and by phone, telling me it was a terrible thing to say. I agree. That's why I'm bringing it up tonight. Again, I assure you I did not make that statement. As far as I'm concerned, I'm putting this to rest so that all of us can get on with our lives. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman Zobeck. I know you to be a man of uh, integrity, and I am sure that you did not make those comments. Uh, any other citizens wish to address the city council this